finishing touch and we are here at Sharon's house in the villages and we are going to show you one of the most beautifully decorated homes for Christmas and you get to see a beautiful home in the villages. This is a St. Augustine model and wait till you see what she has done with it. It's amazing. Come on, let's go. You want to show us uh, what happened at the front, what you did at the front here? It's very attractive. Thank you. And I'm going to let Sharon share a lot of that with you. Well, we love our entry and therefore we really emphasize the Merry Christmas. I guess you can see that and the nativity. <laughs> and we love Christmas trees. So this is um, a cheerful, don't you think it's very right? cheerful, very inviting. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now wait till you go in. This is the most amazing entryway. <laughs> so, and uh, we're going to be greeted. Jerry, her husband, is going to get the door for us. Welcome. Hi, Jerry. Hello. Oh, just beautiful. <clears throat> so tell us about your tree. This tree uh, is fairly new. We've only had this particular tree for two years. Mm -hmm. Uh, we had a nine foot tree here. My husband said, We got 12 foot ceilings. So, <laughs> <laughs> and you would not be you would be surprised how easy it is to decorate. Is it? It is. You could do the top first and put it on, mm -hmm. work it down. So uh, many of these decorations we call it the peace tree. The peace tree. You see all the doves. And uh, many of the decorations that I've had for years. Just, Maybe 20 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just hoping every year that they, they last. Well, they're beautiful. <laughs> I, I like how big they are. Well, I like how big they with are. With 11-foot tree, I was able to, to get the big tree. Yeah, the big tree decorations. So. And then we have the nativity here. Yes, yes. With uh, That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. You're going to find a lot of nativities. Sure, one sure. There. And if you want to show a shot of the foyer, I like how high you went with the uh, mirror. You really utilizing your ceilings, I mean, yeah. how high you are ceiling, utilizing the whole space. So this is a St. Augustine model, everyone, and uh, they have just—it's—it's it's just beautiful. It's, We've had so much fun. It, it's been. just beautiful. So let's come around this beautiful tree, and let's look at the library. So this room is typically. Uh, a room that is not used much in this model. People just plop down furniture in it and they don't really get to use it. So tell us what you did. What was your inspiration for that? Well, when we first bought the house, or we were even looking at the house, we both said library. <laughs> we, we walked into it. Of course, there was a sliding glass door there. Yes. Um, and we, we just saw dark wood. We just saw something classic. And uh, I think we were able to accomplish it. Oh, that. you totally accomplished it. I love how you went all the way to the ceiling. I mean, it's just fabulous. Thank you. I think you. a lot of times when I'm doing houses here, I have to convince customers, let's take those cabinets up high. You know, well, I have to really convince them. Well, I hope this helps to inspire them to consider it. Oh, it's amazing. It, it just makes, you, you've got space, use it. It's amazing. Let's just turn over here. I want to show the dining room to everyone. Which it is decked out for the holidays as well. <laughs> Just beautiful. So what's your inspiration for the table, Dave? Well, I, I found, actually, I love making my own decorations, but I found these um, wreaths. Mm -hmm. And I thought, what can I do creatively to um, that I've not seen before? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what I, I did with that. So, anyway, I love it. Thank you. It looks very inviting. So and I, I put some more... Uh, ornaments in it, but yeah. there, were, there was a bunch there. It there. looks like you're ready for Christmas dinner. We are. Very I much. love what you did with the chandelier. Beautiful. And of course, we kept our ledge. So Yeah, very nice. I love it. And then we have a beautiful tapestry hanging over here above the uh, buffet. That was a find. That was really a That's find. gorgeous. Many of the things we have here, we got in the state sales. Beautiful. Yes. I love that. I, know. I love that. And then we get to move on through and we're greeted by another tree. So tell us a little bit about this tree. Well, we are from Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, the symbol for 
Florida though. Is in Florida Lee. So most everybody sees all the Florida Lees and they think we're from St. Louis or Yeah, you know, you know what? I did not know that. I saw it on your driveway. So yeah. So let's tell everybody again in case they missed it. The symbol for Louisville, Kentucky is a Florida Lee. Okay. And I just love the symbol. Yeah, it's beautiful. So, so this is uh, uh, and this Santa Claus is very special. There is a woman in our neighborhood who makes them, or oh. did make them, yes. And you could commission her to make one. And I asked her to make her Santa with the, the best gift we've ever received. Oh, <laughs> that's wonderful. So that's actually a certificate from from uh, her creations. Beautiful. So she hand makes that. She did. She sews all of the garments. Everything. Beautiful. She passed away last year. Yes, yeah, she did. So that's even more. Well, that's a great legacy. She it is. Behind. Yes. Beautiful. So Just beautiful. Um, I, I, I'm. Why the Florida Lee for Kentucky? I don't. It, it was, oh, is it a, yeah. Um, Louisville was named after King Louis. Oh, and so French. French. Okay. okay, so there was a lot of French influence and I have, there. I have a lot of French in my uh, heritage. Very well. nice. So, but I just do love love. It. Okay, so turn, if you will, I just want to show off their great idea for what was the laundry room of the St. Augustine. So Sharon, tell us about what you did here. Well, we decided um, our bedroom is all the way across, and I felt like I needed to put on my sneakers just mm -hmm. to do my laundry, which yeah. didn't make a lot of sense to me. Right. And I needed more storage because I have a lot of things that want to store. Right. Right. So we decided, let's put this here. And do you want me to tell you later where I put the laundry? Well, that'll be a surprise. Okay. We'll show you later where she put the laundry. <laughs> but this turned out very well. So this became a butler's pantry. If you could show them another long shot of that, that's just awesome. And that is typically the laundry room. Yes. So there's usually a door here, mm -hmm. but we just opened everything up. And, and it, you know what? It feels better. It feels more connected to the kitchen. It, does. it really does. So in this model, everyone, there is typically a long, rounded peninsula here. Yes. And as you can see what they did, they Took removed it, it. And wow. <laughs> well, we like to entertain. You can probably see that. Yes. And we were experiencing um, a block here and then a block over there. Yes. I was always. trying to get in to do stuff and, and I didn't want to be rude to my, my uh, guest. Yeah. So we decided let's just take it out and open it up. Yeah. Now, another thing I did, Ruth, those islands are on wheels. Oh, cool. And I can move them over here to, to Love entertain. It. Or I can, and I can move them over there if I do want to block people. Or if I want to serve on it. Yeah. And the, the uh, ports. Just oh, yes. Amazing. And again, we took those cabinets all the way to the ceiling. All the way. And you did this years ago. So you yeah. were like really quite a good designer on your own. Well, thank you. And check out that refrigerator. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That is awesome. This is just beautiful. And this is my pantry, which I think. Oh, is oh, you've got to come and take a peek. I love it when you do cabinet doors like the, for that for the pantry. Yes. You just step in there so it just step in. It just looks so, um, it, like you, it's just all hidden and cohesive. So that's another great idea. And we've been doing that some when we can get the customers to do it to make a pantry door for the kitchen yes. and make it part of the cabinetry because you wouldn't know it that. It's just so, it's very cohesive. Thank so you. Thank you very much. So Thank we you. did a straight island and, and you can entertain here. I just love that. Yes, and, and you know, this you, it was just a little. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there's a little <laughs> door with this the, space. some stuff. In yes, it was. So we had that taken out and again, to the ceiling, so. Beautiful. So we have a lot of storage here. Beautiful. Yes. Very good storage. Very nice. One of the things we need in the village is uh, The storage. main complaint I hear is storage, <laughs> is storage. So if you would, let's bring, come around and let's look at the living room. Everything is so open back here, I love it. And again, here we have a nice, very inviting Christmas scene. So tell us about your inspiration for this space and your trees and your fireplace. Well, I, that's, I think that fireplace in a 
living room like this just makes it so much more welcoming. And we yeah, should, we should have turned it on. I don't know why we didn't. But. Well, that's okay. We have that. <laughs> exactly. I'm feeling the warmth. I'm feeling the warmth. I love a TV fireplace. Yeah, I love crystal. <laughs> I love crystal. You might notice that. Love crystal too. So I've got the crystal chandeliers and and then just the crystal the lights seems to bring in the red. It's very warm. Like you want to just stay in this room. Oh, thank you, thank you. We love it. Very inviting. Very happy. And now this tree, there's got to be a theme for every tree. There is. So let's talk about this tree. Tell us what you are, uh, this tree what your theme is, is. We call it the angel tree. Okay. Um, and uh, after Christmas, probably 15 years ago, there was a big sale on these beautiful little angels. And I said, I don't think I can make a tree with that. So oh, we, beautiful. I like that you incorporate all the tassels, uh -huh. the angels. Beautiful. And I, I like the ribbon running through the tree. It's beautiful. And then there's a train. It works. Yeah, we have a train that works. It's Very it's, cute. The wheels are on the track, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Very nice. Of course, we and have our Santa. Who's check out the Santa <laughs> who climbs up and down. Very cute. I love that whole look. It serenades us. Yeah, I love that whole look. <laughs> You connected all of this because this is your dining. You can eat here. It's like a, it's, it's like a casual eating space here. Exactly. There's formal dinings out there. But then this was a little nice, so you bumped all that out, correct? Yes, correct. And yeah, made it nice. into a pool room. So underneath that table is a pool table. Is a pool table, but they can use it to entertain, as you can see. Yes, we had someone make a top for it, and then uh, so this time of year it's it's utilized more. For that and it looks like you might be staging it for a party to come. Uh -huh. yes. Very That's nice. Absolutely beautiful. And then, so here we have another tree. Yes. So, this Jerry, did you want to talk about this tree? No, 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 sure. no, no Okay. Talking. We call it the woodland tree because everything on it is pretty much made out of either woodland characters or wood. You see, there's a lot of nativities that are carved out of wood. And it's just a nice. Some owls. Yeah. Now, did you find these ornaments, or did you, you, just sort of, uh, <laughs> you so, did you source them around, or did you kind of find them? The... This is over years. Okay. Over several years. Beautiful. And, and uh, I just thought that would be fun to... It is. It's a nice, it kind of gives you that casual, mm -hmm. where yeah. you can kind of experience trees as they might have been done, you know, before we had all the sparkly things, <laughs> yes, you know? Exactly. Very nice. Yeah, there's not a lot of ribbon or anything on that one. And then as we move on through the space, which this is a pool table, but they have a top on it that they use for entertaining, yes. we come to our Hanukkah tree. Yes. So tell us about how you decided to do a Hanukkah tree. That's my newest tree. And we had some good friends over the other evening, and he was looking around, and he's, he's Jewish. <laughs> he said, uh, glibly, I guess, yeah. where is your Hanukkah tree? So within three days, I had a Hanukkah That's tree. That's nice. And I, I love it. I think I love blue and white. Yeah, looks, blue and white's beautiful. Yeah. And you'll notice it has a nativity under it. And uh -huh. Je Jesus was Jewish. So. And a menorah. Yeah. Very nice. And they recently had us over to their home for a, a lovely dinner. Too. Oh, how oh, nice. A Hanukkah dinner. That's nice. So how many trees have we seen so far? I don't know, but I have 13. She has 13 trees. Yes, yes. Yeah. Including the two mantle trees. Okay. Mantle. Okay. Yes. So now, now we can come out, just pop out to this lanai and check out the outdoor tree here. Beautiful. You'd have to get a little closer, but this is a neat tree. This is a Christmas tree. Now you might say, well, why should, it's a Christmas tree with Christmas trees on the Christmas tree. <laughs> So if you get the ankles, I've got it covered in a little Christmas tree. There we go. And all and the ribbons have trees on them. Yes, yes. And every, one of the things you might notice, all my my trees have Christ in them. Yes. So yeah. Keeping in, in line with the spirit of yeah. what we're doing. Here, so. And it spins. It's which is really cool and very unique. Yeah. They also have a fireplace out here, and she did the mantle on that. Yeah. And you can't see it in the light, but we want to do this tonight to catch the videos, but they're on the golf course, so you can look out there and see all the, yes. the nice view out there. Yes. Love it. 
And most of Irma and I is in there, so we do the best we can here. No, this is great. <laughs> I think it's all we need. just it's all perfect. We need. It's all you need. Yeah. So now we have another tree, which is also a special tree to you. Yes, this is, uh, we just named it recently the wedding tree because um, it has one waterford ornament for every year we've been married. Oh, wow. Just 25 years. Oh, how nice. Yes. So we're really pleased. Very nice. So what is the one that you got on the first year of marriage? Do you know? Oh, that's a good question. Thank I'm not you. quite sure, but, uh, <laughs> but we do have a flirt. Do you know? No. It may <laughs> have, I think I know which know, one. I, I think it might have been the flirt. Yeah. yeah. I think I know which one we got this year. What'd you get this year? This one we got this year. This is oh, like, very pretty. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. So, so now that brings us back through the library. Yes. And one more uh, Santa Claus from, oh, yeah. from our friend. She oh, did she make one. this one yeah, too? Yeah, I didn't commission that one, but I did. And she sewed all these clothes. She did. That's amazing. She was, yeah, quite a treasure. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, okay, so let's go back through the library. Okay. And then we're going to check out the office. Oh, yes. So this is Jerry's office. This is a great man cave that every man who golfs would absolutely love. And that's our patriotic tree. So... Jerry, do you want to tell us about this tree, or is this... Oh, Sharon can tell you about that tree. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's designed by Sharon, not Jerry. <laughs> so, Sharon, tell us about how you came up with this tree. Well, I know that um, I wanted something a little different than what I'd done before. So, what this is supposed to represent is fireworks and... Uh, you know, patriotism, 4th of yeah. July. Matter of fact, people have come and said, just keep it up all year. Yeah. I might not just do that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that, that would be a cool thing to keep yeah. up all year. I asked him what that was, and he said, that's your Christmas present. <laughs> 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 I said, yeah. oh, well, leave it there. That's good. Yeah, I got your stocking. I got your stocking. <laughs> Beautiful yeah. collection of golf stuff in here, too. Yes, we We do love Are golf. Are you avid golfers? Villages. Yes, yes. Just beautiful. And I love all the books. Yeah, more books. Beautiful. I know that my husband is loving this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go into the master bedroom. <laughs> you coming? Okay. And I like how you do a family wall here. This is a really nice thing. Um, I like it when people put up family pictures because you get to see who lives in the homes. Yes. I, I think it's very generic when you don't have any family up. And you know? uh, I did this for us more than anything because it's memories of our families and my mom, his mom, dad. Mm -hmm. And I've got some new pictures of his mom and dad that I'm going to put in here. Mm -hmm. But we, there's three great-grandchildren. Oh. Yes. We have grand... <laughs> Turned out. We <laughs> <laughs> still love that one. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have uh, these are the married grandchildren, and then we have we have ten grandchildren, three great grandchildren. Oh wow! And two ch three children. Wow! So. And I like what you did with the wall. You a lot of times people will tend to say, "Oh, I have to wait till it's complete to hang it." I like how you left room to grow yes, because yes. that's what I like to do when I'm doing walls like that for people. Is just you know, leave a little room to grow because you're going to add to it. Yes, you know? yes. Well, they've, they've grown, so I'm going to move them over here, too, <laughs> okay. and put in more recent pictures yeah. of them. They're three and under. There's a very, very uh, wonderful grandchildren. They're really, really sweet kids. Well, let's check out. So this is just a quick shot of the guest bath. You can just do a quick shot in there. And into the master bedroom, which is amazing. Again... In this model, the St. Augustine, wasted space over there. I'm working on one right now because it is such wasted space. They're like, help us do something with the space. So we're doing something with it. Not that, but we're doing okay. something. But I she made it. it an office. And look at that. Yes, and I, I get the best view. So tell us your inspiration for choosing this as your office. Well, um, I wanted a view. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to have it 
cozy and not, not as big as his because mm -hmm. I just didn't need all that. So this is, mm -hmm. this would just work out perfectly for me. And, and I think what you're saying is I, you, I guess you get knows that I really want to utilize the space to the best. Yes. So, I mean, I, uh, we have so many friends with St. Augustine's and they have such beautiful decorations. But yeah. I'm more practical. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's beautiful, um, and she still does work, I and do. she does a lot of reading, and, and I'm writing a book, all kinds of things. Yes. So the space does come in handy. Yeah, it's, it's utilized. This house is utilized. Every now inch. let's go. I wanted to. Well, we'll talk about this tree because we have a surprise coming up. Okay, so tell us about this tree. What is the uh, well, inspiration behind this one? I'm not really that inspired, except. I've got so many beautiful decorations that I didn't use uh -huh. that I just kind of put them here to, to keep a memory of, of what I've done with other trees in the past. Sure. I mean, sure. You look at these. So it's, it's a memory tree. It's a memory tree. Yeah. Yeah. And it's pretty much for us. It's just got some really pretty, uh, unique type. I like of... that star on top. Yeah. <laughs> it add, you're doing a little, uh, kind of a star dance. It does a star that. dance. It does. That's nice. Yeah. So now we're going to go into the master bath, which is awesome. And we got a surprise. Let's look at where they move the washer and the dryer, everyone. Right in here. This is awesome. I love it. I love it. I do too. I mean, oh my gosh. As I, as I mentioned, going all the way uh, across the, the house when no one lives in this house but us and Tori. And it is a long way. <laughs> It makes much more sense to, to have it here. That is awesome. I love it. It would be easier to do because you're near water anyway. You so, are, you know? yeah. It, it were, yeah, it was very easy to put in and very inexpensive, actually. Yeah. And this this was a um, linen closet yep. that, that I made into a regular closet because yeah. we taking up the space that we didn't have. Do you get all your clothes in here, too? Uh, <laughs> you do? We do, we do. We get wow. between, between this one and that between one. Between this one good. and that one, we're, you're good. We're good. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. All right. So then let's take a look at this master bath. It's awesome. Tell us what you did in here. We tore it out and we did it totally. Mm -hmm. and, um, they had the old fashioned glass type of yes, entry. Yes, yes. Yes. Just like everybody's, you know, started out. So we said just take it out and a uh, little bold, bold move here with with the tile and this, but I think it works. It's, it's decadent, but it, it's beautiful. Yes, it's I love it. And I was I looked everywhere. I found a claw tub mm -hmm. that is a jacuzzi. Very nice. Oh, so wonderful. Very nice. And it's easy to get it out of. Everybody said, "How do you do it?" It's so fun. So yeah, fun. isn't that awesome? Very nice. So just a really. Wonderful uses of space. Thank you. Thank you. So now, have we missed any trees? I don't know, I think that's it. Let's go back through one more time and yeah. just take a look at that beautiful tree as we say goodbye to our guest. Well, I am so uh, proud that you've come to our house. You, you are such an inspiration to everyone. Oh, and thank the fact you. That you you've honored us to come to our house and share, so share with the people. Thank, I you. thank you. Thank you. Well, I just think this is a fabulous tree. Well, there's a couple more up there. So. <laughs> Did they go with this tree? Okay, so we've got some little ones that kind of tie in. Yeah, they do. I think it ties in here. Well, this is just beautiful. So we thank you for having us, you guys. I really appreciate it. Beautiful home. Thank you. And thank you. Uh, just, I'm going to have so much fun showcasing your okay. work. So thank you. Well, one thing I would say to people, when we moved in, uh, it was, you know, it was kind of plain, mm -hmm. and we didn't jump right in. Immediately, we uh, figured out that I didn't really want to go and do my laundry there. So, yes. as my, one of the things I'd say is work with Ruth. Give her time. Give yourself time to really figure out what you want to do and how it's going to be. I do tell a lot of my clients just to live in the space before yeah. I make any major moves. Exactly. So. Well, thank you very much, Sharon, Jerry. Nice to meet you, Ruth. Nice to meet Scott. you. And Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.